Hi everybody, this is another Flying Rookie video and in this video I'm going to show my latest project. This is going to be the introduction and unboxing of my Feutech Y6 Copter. Uh, this uh, aircraft that I got over here, I purchased it to do different uh, roles. So it's going to be a multitasking air aircraft when I compare it with the uh, other uh, three quadcopters that I have okay uh, for example I do have the Hover Teens um, BC 550 quadcopter that I have it to take uh, aerial video and do FPV flights and line of, nice, line, of, line of sight flights I have the Gawi 330 XX that pretty much uh, is to be used on the same task uh, as well and I got the DIY uh, graphite uh, X450 quadcopter that I use it for line of sight flight and night flying since I installed LED lights so this one over here is going to be able to do all that stuff uh, in one single aircraft and the nice thing is because it comes with six motors it's a white six copter come with six motors is um, going to give me better payload using three cell light bulbs rather than why do with my big quadcopter, the Fiat 550? I had to fly it with five cells. I mean, with four cells because it's a large aircraft. Okay, so I got over here some of the stuff that I'm gonna be using on this aircraft. Uh, but first of all, the kit when you buy it, the kit comes with everything you need. It comes with the six motors, the six ESCs. Comes with a wiring harness. It comes with a battery connector it comes with all the hardware necessary to put it together it even comes with the LED lights that they are built in on the frame okay so the only thing that you need to buy separately is obviously you don't have a radio ready you have to buy a radio a receiver you need a lipo battery and the most important thing you need a flight controller because this thing doesn't come with a flight controller so it comes with all the things that I mentioned for $250, except for the other things that I mentioned that it doesn't come with. Okay, so I was thinking about putting the DJI NASA over here, but I wasn't sure that the ESCs are going to be compatible with that. So just to be on the safe side, I purchased this uh, flight controller. This is the Eagle uh, flight controller, and I saw a lot of videos on YouTube of people flying different type of aircraft configurations with this flight controller and they look pretty stable so this is the N6B2 uh, model okay so it comes with instruction manual over here but I'm not going to use it anyway because I do have the instruction manual already on my computer in PDF okay and this is the flight controller itself it's really small smaller than the KK board or the free flight board and as you can see it doesn't come with the holes to mount it on the aircraft with um, the stand-ups like most of those um, open circuit uh, flight controllers does um, this one you have to mount it with the double side anti-vibration tape that is the same tape that you would use on the gyro for the helicopter so it's pretty much the same thing over here okay so it's pretty basic uh, it doesn't need to be hooked up to a computer to program which uh, aircraft you're going to use with this all you do is just uh, go to the instruction manuals and find out which aircraft you have and then set up this the first three switches over here according to the aircraft that you're using so uh, every, every aircraft that this thing is designed to work with either um, uh, 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 airplane to stabilize the airplane uh, so you connect the servos over here you can also uh, use it with um, dual copter that, that's like the avatar style uh, copter you can use a tricopter um, quadcopter in X mode or, or, for, or either X mode or plus mode you can use a hexacopter or a H copter and a Y6 copter and that's what I'm going to use over here, Y6. The final switch over here, the switch number 4, this is the one that you will use to uh, set up on stabilized mode or on 
uh, aerobatic mode. So I'm gonna fly this in a stabilized mode anyway because uh, all I do is FPV, so I don't really need to put this thing on aerobatic mode. Okay, so this is pretty much the story about this uh, board. Okay, and oh, and just before I forget, it comes with the three basic uh, game adjustments. You know, roll, pitch, and uh, roll, pitch, and jaw. Okay, so it's pretty pretty simple to understand for those that they are experienced with um, multi rotor aircraft okay um, now let me just pull this thing away um, now um, the receiver that I'm gonna use over here since I'm using a high-tech uh, Aurora 9 uh, radio are going to use uh, high-tech Optima 6 on this aircraft. We already got the wires that are going to connect uh, to the flight controller. Uh, the nice thing about this receiver is there's two ways to power it and either way that you power it, this receiver sends the voltage telemetry back to the radio. So if, uh, for example, if I hooked up this receiver uh, the traditional way, getting you know, power from the ESCs or the flight controller, the ESC, this receiver then is going to tell me the voltage reading from the, that's getting from the flight controller that's basically five minutes, I mean five uh, volts. But this receiver also, if I remove the jumping over here, I could uh, use like a, a wire that's going to be connected uh, directly to the battery through the wiring harness that sends the power to the ESCs. And I can connect that wire on over here by removing this jumper, and, can, and I can also power this receiver with the same battery that powers the aircraft. And the nice thing is, that in my radio, I'm gonna get the real voltage that the battery is 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 uh, it, it, it has. And also, I can set up on my radio like a light pole alarm, so when the battery goes down to a certain point the receiver is going to send that obviously that information to the radio and the radio is going to start beeping when the battery reaches a certain point so that's really nice so this receiver is 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 a big advantage that you can also power it from the battery directly from the battery and you can uh, get the uh, actual voltage the uh, reading that the battery has on the radio so that's a big advantage um, these wires that I got here there are some of the wires that are going to have to adapt to the wiring harness of the aircraft. So this first one over here is the one that's going to power the receiver. This is a Futaba J uh, cable and I'm going to hook up this thing to the main wiring harness. Um, this one over here is a JST connector and this one is going to be hooked up to the FPV system, the transmitter, this thing is going to power the transmitter from the main battery. Okay, and this attracts its connectors because all the batteries that I use, they, they are, I use it with Traxxas connectors, just like my RC cars battery, so I'm going to use this to power the uh, uh, to power the aircraft. The aircraft from the factory use DINs, so I'm not going to use that. Okay, so pretty much I show some of the uh, equ et, uh, equipment that it wasn't included with the aircraft itself. So now I'm going to open the main box and show what is inside. Okay, so over here there's the instructions for the ESCs to how to program it. Okay, and first of all I got the six ESCs over here. Okay, so let me just get one of the ESCs out of the back. Okay, so the ESCs that they include, they are the 20 amps Hobby Wing ESCs. And I'm happy that they gave me, you know, a brand name uh, ESC since uh, uh, supposedly Hobby Wing is the... Um, probably the best ESC that comes from China so that's why I'm really satisfied with the ESCs that come with the kit and probably I'm gonna be able to program it with my um, uh, programming card and it's 
you know, these ESCs are pretty solid and durable. They also, this company also build ESCs for other companies as well. Um, the thing with these ESCs that I don't like is the wires, they are not color code. So to figure out the right rotation on the motor is going to be a little bit of a pain. But other than that, I, I really like the, 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 the fact that they gave me Hobby Wing ESCs. Okay, so let me just put the ESC away. Also, these ESCs are only designed to handle two or three S light bulbs. They don't work with anything else but that. Okay, I'll just put the ESCs on the side. Now, here I got the center plates of the aircraft. Okay, so. Uh, three center plates because this one would be the one where you mount the battery as you can see you got a balancer connector over here and I'm gonna explain in a few seconds what the balancer connector is for so this one's the one that goes in the bottom this one will go in the top and this two they're gonna sandwich the arms that you mount the three arms that you mount on this aircraft and then you got this all the one all the way in the top so over here you mount the receiver and uh, flight controller and then finally here in the all the way in the top you will mount the GoPro camera and the accessories so I like it this string is pretty nice and it's well you know well made and it's pretty complete so it comes with everything you need to install all, all the equipment you know I like this now uh, these two plates that are identical that plane they don't have nothing special in there now this one as you can see you got uh, electronic components over here and there's a reason for that and that's why you got this balancer connector over here and this is the cool part about this when you mount the battery this connector you will plug it here and it will power the lights on the lower plate and you see that they change patterns and then it stays you know solid the thing of this is not just to give you a cool light show this thing got another purpose too this thing also as the battery goes down in voltage then these lights they start flashing in different patterns and that's letting you know that the battery is going down so it's time for you to bring the aircraft back so that's another way to tell the the voltage on the aircraft also this plate is uh, powered it on this uh, exposed brass connectors over here because this also powered the LED lights that are on the arms so when you mount the arms on this plate over here you have to also solder the the plate to the arm so that's uh, it, it, that's two things that you have to do with this to get the job done I and mean, I really like that so that way I don't have to set up external wires or everything you know to power you know the LED lights so that's why this aircraft also is going to fly at night because of that now let me just pull this stuff away and show what, what else I got in the box Over here, I got these the motor mount plates. This is the battery strap. It comes with some zip ties as well. Uh, this the three landing gears, one on each arm. Uh, this thing is the hardware over here. I got the screws and the spacers over here. And and this last bag over here I got the wiring harness and as you can see I got the Dean's connector over there that I'm not going to use okay let me just pull this stuff back in here and show what else I got okay these two long bags over here one of them comes with a uh, 10 inch props and I don't got six props I got eight props over here so I got they gave me two two spur props so I got um, six black props and two green ones so the green ones will be the ones that I will put on the tail so that way I can tell where's the front where's the back and where's the front of the aircraft so I'll put those ones on the tail okay so that's really nice and I got two spur black ones just in case okay so that will help with the orientation on the aircraft 
Now over here I got the arms and the arms they are color cold. You see all of them they are black but they got this uh, little sticker, this little labels. One says green, this one says red and this one says blue. So the red one I'll put it in the back so it kind of is going to give me the impression like if I was um, driving a car and the car you know got the tail lights and the blue one and the green one are going to mount it in the front because that's going to be the color of the LED lights in the arms while flying and as, as you can see this is the part that's going to connect to the lower center plate this is going to uh, power it's going to send the electricity to the LED lights that they are installed on the arms itself so that's really 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 nice you know so let me just put all this stuff back in here and now let's uh, check what I got here on this section so these are the adapters for the props so you put this adapter and use it on the prop depending on the size of the prop adapter shaft okay and this sits these three little boxes that I got over here, each one of them they come with the motors. Okay, so they come with the outrunner brushless motors. Now these motors, I got no idea about the size of the power, the KB, so this motor. They look to me like it's a size between 2212 or between 2212 and 2208, something like that. And it could be, uh, the KBs could be between 850 to 1050 because that's the normal range of KBs that you normally find on this type of aircraft. So they come already with a propeller mount installed on the, on the motor and it's pretty much uh, ready to go. And I like it, it's really smooth. So who knows, they might come with uh, Japanese bearings. Now they are, the, in my opinion, the best ones on the market. Okay. Let me just mount this thing back. Okay, so let me just put this thing in here. And just close the box over here. Now, um, this is pretty much what is coming in the box. Now, uh, what I'm going to show in the computer screen is how this aircraft is going to look when it's complete. So, as you can see, you see you got the green propellers in the back and you can see you got the the the, the black props in the front okay that's how the, it's gonna look like so this bottom over here is the um, is the Mal Mal Malaysia RC.com and these people they they really uh, work with uh, Fatech products, and they always include you know detailed information about the flight controllers and the aircraft. Now you can see the ESCs that came with this kit is not the same ESCs that I got on mine. So these ESCs that are like gen generic, the ones that I got that hobby win. So I'm happy that they gave me brand name uh, ESCs over here. So. It tells you in detail what's the steps that you have to follow to mount all this stuff on your uh, FY91Q flight controller that is not the one that I'm using um, right now but that's the way you're supposed to hook it up over here and this uh, flight controller that they're using here is the one that comes with the GPS so it gives you a position hold and also it gives you um, uh, uh, return to home so that's really nice that it does all that okay it tells you also how to mount the props you know the, the clockwise and counterclockwise how they're supposed to work so that's that's really good they give you all the details over here about how to set up this aircraft okay so this is pretty much it and uh, okay so please don't uh, forget to rate comment subscribe and thanks for watching everybody bye